Well, welcome back, everyone, to Tiergarten Wilhelmsdorf. Oh my gosh, it's been quite some time since we've been in here. And if you guys might remember, the last episode we actually did was for our beautiful little Arctic Fox exhibit based off of Fantastic Mr. Fox. And today we're actually doing something a little bit more grounded in European folklore. So I really wanted to build for the Fire Salamanders. I have not built for them at all yet. And I was like, you know what? We got to do something fun for them. And I was sitting in a call with Nick and he was like, wow, these uh, new cobble pieces actually make for great lava. So I'm like, oh, damn, bet. All right, we're going to try that out. So one of the things I really wanted to do was make a volcano with these guys. And you guys may be saying, listen, there's probably no like volcanoes in Europe. Like, what the hell are you doing over there? And I'm like, you know what? Bet. Uh, so it's actually been known that fire salamanders were named so because of their bright patterns, but also because a lot of European folklore kind of revolved around the fact that these guys did originally come from volcanoes and the like. Now, obviously they didn't, we know that for now, at least we're pretty certain, um, there's been no evidence against it, which I must say, but all being said, I really want to make a tiny little volcano for them. And this is a little bit too themed, um, but I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand with the rest of the fairy tale area. I certainly do want to get back to our other side, which is a little bit more prim and proper, a little bit more limestone and, you know, manicured gardens and whatnot. That's definitely something I really do want to get into in just a little bit. But for the purposes of this building, I really did just want to stick with something a little bit more themed. And you guys can kind of see this come into play over here with this beautiful little volcano. So I am using a mix of faux rocks as well as Nick's old flexi color rocks. Oh my gosh, that was a wonderful thing to have way back in the day. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Nick actually made these beautiful rock sets based off of the actual rocks that we have in game, you know, all those natural ones. And he made these beautiful like flexi color versions of these based off of the same shapes as well as the temple pieces from the South America pack. And using them together with this just gives us such a more ragged, raggedy, raggedy, I guess you could kind of say, rigid kind of texture to it. And it feels so good in the end. It looks insane. And we have to add a little bit of smoke on top. That's something that we just had to implement a little bit. And we do this little bit of a pathway curve going throughout this entire build. Just to, you know, line up the path a little bit more. I think I may go through and redo that path work. I may change that out to flagstone or something. Just to make it look a lot better. Just because, I don't know, the mulch really doesn't look the best. But the whole idea behind all of this was to really make this feel like a bit of dry in the middle of all this lush green beauty. And we also used the faux tree trunks i get faux tree branches to really make a i guess you could kind of call that lava flows uh obviously you won't have really real working lava but i felt like that would be a wonderful way to kind of integrate that in there and we kind of just double those up on the other sides just make sure it's kind of cohesive with the rest of the build and i think it comes out pretty good in the end it gives the effect without going too crazy uh that's something i did want to kind of like reel the reins back on a little bit i didn't want to go too hyper themed but i wanted to make this kind of plausible within a themed kind of zoo if that makes sense obviously we need to use our good friend the drain grass over here because it is a very dry looking grass and this is something that you would definitely see in an area like this and just making sure that all fits in nicely and one of the things i really wanted to do was make this effect that like the volcano kind of blew up so I put a bunch of these dead trees all over the place, kind of facing away from the volcano, just to make sure it feels like, you know, it feels like it has impact on the surrounding area, if that makes sense. And we also use some of the tundra rocks throughout the entire rest of the build, just to ground it a little bit more, just to make sure it feels a little bit more natural. Uh, even though it is a volcano in the middle of a giant field that really doesn't make sense But I don't know. I just honestly really like it in the end uh, Just doing a little bit of path work over there making sure it's nice and flush with the rest of the build And we just essentially do a lot of foliage work for the rest of this. I don't know 
Uh, I really wanted to get some color in there, so we used some of like those salt cedar bushes. We use a lot of desert plants in here just because they do look pretty dry and dusty. And that's kind of like the effect that I really wanted to accentuate over here. So we used some of the salt cedars as well. I don't know, I'm just very happy with how well this all came out. It was so fun to do. Especially for Tiergarten because I have not felt the drive for this park in a while. Uh, even the fantastic Mr. Fox build, you guys could probably tell, I really wasn't into it all that much. But, I don't know, just going through here and making this, it was a really awesome habitat just to pop into. And we do a little bit of path work as well with lion signs and we toss a couple trees over there. And in the end, here we go with the end credits. That was pretty much it, guys. A little bit of a quick speed build for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. Uh, hope you guys enjoy all of the current zoos that we have going on throughout this entire week. We have a lot of awesome stuff this week, and I really can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and I hope you guys all have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Auf Wiedersehen!